Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this review where today I am doing a joint collaboration with my great friend Adam from over What The Gym because we got to see the musical together on Tuesday the 11th of October and we got to experience this at Newcastle Theatre Royale. So before I go any further, I want to just hand this over to Adam just to introduce himself and tell you all a little bit about his YouTube channel. Ahoy mateys, what's up everybody, it's what Jim, and a big thanks to Mike aka Digizzy that, that have me on this channel. I really really appreciate it Mike, I've appeared on this channel a couple of times before, but if, if, in case you don't know who I am, I'm what the Jim and my real name is Adam, and if if you don't know what, what my channel is, I do videos mainly to do with movies, video games, music and TV shows and I do a lot of reviews for all of them as well. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and check out my channel, What The Gym. So I saw this musical in Newcastle with Mike and um, we, we both had a really, really enjoyable time watching this, this this musical yeah adam's such an awesome guy so the link to his channel is going to be down below in the description box where you can go subscribe to him please go show him some love that we really really appreciate it so i'm glad to have adam on board with this collaboration and yeah going into this we've both seen both movies that's been adapted to the big screen so at least we had some background knowledge on this story even if it's not completely 100 percent accurate whatever the case should be I was still intrigued to check this out. Now, I have got some names written down here because it does say here that the musical director is James Findlay and the director itself is James Grieve, if I've got that correctly, of this musical. I've hunted high and low on the internet to get these names because, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to buy a program the other day when I was at the musical. So I've scoured the internet and I've found some names here. So let me go into, firstly, a little bit about the plot of Fisherman's Friends. It essentially is around Port Isaac's Fisherman's Friends, who these men are all just fishermen. They're living in this town. However, they've got some spectacular voices and they've got a huge love for singing sea shanties. So with this love, we get this guy called Danny, who comes from London to Cornwall, trying to find the next kind of big thing and to sign to a record label. And he comes across the Fisherman's Friends. Long behold, he thinks this is an opportunity to get them signed to a record label. But things don't go quite to plan. And that's all I'll say without spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen any of the movie. And they're going to go into this musical blindly. So let me just go into a little bit about what I liked about this. And then we'll talk about a little bit of the negatives. And we'll give overall. And in between, I'm going to hear Adam's good, bad and overall also. So what I can honestly say about the good about this musical is I can say that I found that I enjoyed the musical. At the end of it, I definitely did leave with a big smile on my face and I was happy to have seen this musical live. I think what they do with the sets and the kind of choreography is visually awesome. With it being in a the theatre, they are limited to what they can do. So I can completely respect that. But I will say that also I think the cast in here are amazing. I think they all do a great job with one in particular, which I'll get to. But let me just tell you a little bit about some of the cast in here that I found online. And that is James Gaddis, who plays Jim. We've got Parisa Shamir, Robert Duncan, Anton Stevens, who you may recognise from The X Factor. We've got Susan Penaligan. Louisa Bidel and Hadrian De Lacey. So I've probably pronounced some of those names absolutely wrong, so I do apologise. And I couldn't find the names of the other cast members that are in this musical and the ensemble. So again, apologies on that front. So my personal standout here, and the biggest compliment I can give, of course the Fisherman's Friends were amazing, don't get me wrong, but I personally think one of the biggest standouts here is Parisa Shamir, because Parisa is an utterly tremendous singing voice some of her numbers that she had solo wise kind of give me chills especially one where it's all kind of set in the dark towards the second act i can't remember the name of the song but that number alone really gave me chills and i would really actually like to listen to it maybe like a cast recording if they ever release one in the future so yeah the fisherman's friends were awesome they all had like good chemistry between them as well the sets and the use of the boats and the use of the pub as well that's set in cornwall the musical itself definitely gives you a vibe that you are 
in Cornwall, which of course is what you want because that is where this is set. So yeah, I definitely think they are done really well. Also, I really like the music in here. There's definitely some sea shanty songs that you will know and definitely some that are toe tapping, you can clap to, get you in this atmosphere that you are in, the sea shanty town. So with that in mind, I'm going to hand over to my good buddy Adam. Adam, what did you like about Fisherman's Friends, the musical? So for the good, I want to mention about the to, to, to see to see chanties themselves they're done really really well here i was singing along to quite a lot of them and all of them were done very very well in my opinion i also thought that the instrumentation on this musical was done very excellent as well you had violins flutes acoustic guitars and they, they all sounded really really great and if you see the, the film fisherman's friends you, you will be very familiar with what the story is and the story is done very very well here i think i think they told it very very well and I, I was just in it i was just in it for the ride all the way through i think the production the choreography and the set pieces that they're, they're all done very very excellent here and i think especially with the set pieces that's one of my favorite elements of this musical is the amount of attention to detail with it but also the the way that they made the boat and the way they had the boat move that that, that was just done very very clever and i thought it was very creative as well and i thought that the acting and the performances all around were done very very well I don't, I don't think any of them did terrible acting i thought they all did very very well with the materials that they, that, that they were given i also want to just mention that this this this, this musical is very funny at times i think it's even more funnier at the second half of the show but th th there, there are definitely moments that you are going to be just 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 laughing quite a lot there's also quite a few emotional moments as well and i think that they were landed quite well and overall I just had a really, really enjoyable time watching this musical and I'm glad I got to see it with Mike. I can't agree more with Adam. Yeah, I definitely think that we have some similarities in terms of our good points here. And it's cool to hear that we are both kind of on the same page. Yeah, I'm really glad that we had a great time. It was just so cool to see this with Adam as well, especially with someone who also loves the movies like I do, you know, so it's really cool to have that experience. I want to also go into some negatives that I have here, which was unfortunate, but I definitely think that it kind of does hold the musical back. And I do know that Adam mentioned some of these in his portions, but I've got a couple of other different ones here. So the first one here, I will say, is that I think this musical takes a little bit to get into it. So in the kind of first 10, 15 minutes, you've got a little bit of a slow pace, no actual kind of like real story going on. It takes that kind of 10, 15 minutes to introduce the story. And we get like a couple of musical numbers in a row. Now, one thing I will say here is I know Adam does touch on that. Um, there is some balance here where the musical numbers should have been balanced out towards the actual like storyline. And I definitely agree here. But I think one of the issues is for me personally is I don't think every song in here works. I think there's a couple of repeated, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But I also found that it was some musical numbers I didn't think really needed to be in here what i would have liked to have seen personally instead of those musical numbers which i would only say this maybe two or three absolute maximum is maybe an extra scene where they're on the boat because the whole thing is about fishermen's friends is they're always out to sea especially in the movies they are adamant that they are going to be of course fishermen before anything else so we get so many scenes where they're on the boat i would have liked to have seen more of those scenes because the actual boat prop that they have on stage is very impressive and how they handle that to make it look like it's you know just wishing along the water and i know that's probably the wrong word to use there but yeah i really thought that was really impressive and i would have personally liked to have seen that more but yeah i also feel like this is definitely a musical of two halves we've got the first half where it's setting up all about the story of the fisherman's friends and introducing danny then we've got the second half about them trying to get the record label so i personally found that i found myself enjoying the second half more than the first half because maybe of that little bit of a slower pace it took and i don't mean like all the comedy lands here also i feel like some of the jokes don't work i didn't find myself laughing at some of the jokes when you were kind of supposed to maybe get a chuckle out of it so those are kind of my negatives but what i want to hear from adam is what is his negatives it took about 10 to 15 minutes to really get into the musical and once once that 10 15 minutes was over it, it just got really, really enjoyable from there. 
I also think that the pacing could have been better here. There's about 15 minutes where you sometimes get about three, three songs in a row. And then maybe right after that 15 minutes, you might get 10 minutes where there's where there's no songs. So it is a bit up, up and down with, with, with the pacing, but I never found it too much of an issue. They were, it, never, it never distracted me from, from, from the show. I also thought that there were a couple of moments that were a little bit filler. And I feel like it made the overall show maybe a little bit longer than, than, than it needed to be. And I think if those filler moments weren't there, it would feel like the perfect length. And for the second half of the show, I was expecting there to be a different set, but no, it was the same set. They didn't even make it look, look, look like a different location. They didn't even add any new elements onto the set. It just it was just the exact same set. And I thought it, the, 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 set, the set itself does look really, really amazing, but it would have been nice if they made, it, they made something slightly different for the set and the second half of this. Of, of, of this musical and this is a very very nit 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 piggy thing that the second half of the show does start with a song that you've already heard in in the in, in the mu in the musical so and, and, and I feel like maybe they could have either just gone with a different CC shanty uh, or to have it so the audience sings sings along to this one to have it so it's more of an audience in interaction sort of thing and there are there are there are several times in the show where they to reuse these shanties, but they're all they're all done really really well. That I never thought of that as much of an issue. One final thing I want to touch upon with the bad is one one of the plots of 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 the musical. I feel like just ends way too quickly, and it it it's just a little bit overwhelming when it when it comes. But it's not really a huge deal. But it's just I felt like the way it was done in the film versus how it was done in the musical. I think the film tackled it. A little bit better so it seems like me and adam are on similar pages enough i think he maybe had a little bit one or two like maybe nitpicks and i maybe wouldn't have picked out but that's not necessarily a bad thing and then it's each to their own opinions but i think overall i think we have some very similar kind of negatives and for what we thought about the musical so going into my overall score and verdict is i can say that this is a good time i can say that you will leave this musical with a big smile on your face the performances throughout are really good again especially from parisa shima who i would have thought you know definitely one of the big guys from the fisherman friends the poor isaac fisherman friends would have been the standout and they're all great but yeah parisa was definitely my standout personally it is an easy to watch musical you're going to enjoy yourself, especially towards the end. They actually had like audience participation. People were clapping along as the numbers were going, like the final two numbers, which I found really, really good. Before I give my overall score, I just want to hear very quickly from Adam what his verdict is for the musical. I recommend it to people who like Fisherman's Friends, either, either the film or their music, and for people who like Sea Shant Shanties overall. And I would rate this an 8.5 out of 10. Highly recommend to watch it. Thanks again, Mike, for having me. I really, really do, do appreciate it. And again, my name is Adam, aka What the Gym, and I'd really appreciate it if you were to go ahead and check out my channel. Please go ahead and subscribe to me, and please go ahead and subscribe to Mike as well. He's a really, really great guy. And until next time, everyone, ciao. Yeah, so Adam gives this an 8.5 out of 10, which I think is a very fair result because my score for Fisherman's Friends the Musical is a 4 out of five stars so have you seen fisherman's friends the musical are you going to go check it out if you have seen it and it wasn't at newcastle and it was maybe somewhere else leave any and all comments down below we can continue the discussion down there let me know who your favorite cast member was who you saw in the musical thank you so much for tuning into this review please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and if you're unaware for two pounds per month in the link down below i also do have a patreon where you get access to early videos you get a say what goes on to the channel you get two times entries into competitions my weekly schedules so much more stuff coming very soon and i also want to give a big special thank you to all the awesome people who do support my patreon and help support the channel big things are coming very very soon but until the next time that i see you i'll be seeing you later